Hey everybody. I apologize that I'm a hot, sweaty mess. Um, I literally have no makeup on, my hair is a disaster, and I'm actually still sweating from my workout. Um, but I just had to hop on and talk to you because all week I've been dealing with stupid fear. And I'm just realizing how paralyzing fear is and has been for me um, a lot in my life. And I posted last Saturday about my Couch to 5K workout and how hard it was. And I think I focused on that part all week. I focused on how hard it was and how I can't believe I barely got through it and what if I couldn't do it again and oh my legs were sore for a couple of days and you know I focused on all that negative crap. What I forgot to focus on was the fact that I did it. I finished it. I survived. I wasn't like wheezing or you know falling off the treadmill. I did it. So that's the part I should have been focusing on and for some reason my stupid brain just focused on the negative side of it. So all week I've been making excuses. I had it on my plan multiple days and I kept crossing it out and writing postponed or rescheduled for whatever the next day. Um, and I had sort of valid reasons, I guess. My legs were sore for a couple days, so I told myself, hey, it's self-care. You're listening to your body. Your legs are sore, so, you know, take a break and don't overdo it. <clears throat> That's true, but I didn't have to be a couch potato either. And I'm not sure that that was the real reason, you know, in retrospect. Then I had a few days where I was overly tired because I didn't go to bed on time. And I didn't go to bed on time because I was up late working on stuff for the blog and getting ready for the challenge. And again, valid reasons. But I've gotten up when I was tired before to do it. And... I've had a couple nights where I've run on five or six hours and survived. Yet, for some reason this week, I told myself, oh, no, you couldn't possibly get up early to work out because you need your rest. Which is true. Sleep is important. But I was using it as an excuse. And it sounded like a pretty virtuous excuse. So, you know, it's different than just saying, oh, I'm just being lazy or whatever. You know, I found good, quote unquote, good excuses not to do it. Um, then a couple days ago, my husband asked me, hey, did you run this morning? You know, just a curious, not judging at all. And I was just like, no, I got up early and I just wasn't feeling good and didn't do it. And just talking to him about it really got my wheels turning. And I came out later and I said, I wonder if I'm scared that I won't be able to do it. Or if it's really just, you know, that I'm too tired or whatever. And he said, yeah, it's probably fear. You're probably holding yourself back. And he didn't say it in a judging way at all. I mean, he's the most supportive guy there is. So um, I just took it as food for thought. I've been kind of mulling it over for a couple days. And then I was supposed to work out yesterday. And just didn't happen. We were up late Friday night. I had stuff to do. I did, you know, grocery shopping. Um, again, worked on more stuff for the challenge and just kept putting it off and putting it off. So this morning, I'm just hanging out playing with my son and my stomach was upset. I mean, like legit in the bathroom, my stomach was upset. And I really wanted to use it as an excuse again. And I just was like, no, this is silly. Like, I told myself, you were going to go get on that treadmill, and you're going to walk if you have to. If you start doing the workout and you can't do it, you're going to drop back to a previous week. Or you're just going to walk, but you're going to do something. You're not going to sit here and make excuses and be scared. Scared to do something that I've done before. Like, I did it last Saturday. I mean, yeah, it was hard, but I did it. And by the way, like, years ago, I've run way more than this. So... 
it's not logical and I guess that's my point is that no matter how much you feel like you're in a good place or you're on track those feelings can still just pop up out of nowhere like when I got done with my workout last week I was like wow that was hard you know but I felt like pretty awesome that I finished it and then somehow because my legs were sore the next day my brain created this whole story about how hard it was and what if I couldn't do it again and blah 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 and you know what so what if I couldn't do it again like what if I came down here today and tried it and my body was like no you're not ready for that so what like what's the big deal who am I trying to prove something to myself right like no one else was gonna sit here and see me not being able to do it it's not like I was at a race and people were gonna be like oh she couldn't finish like it's just me so the whole time I was on the treadmill I was thinking number one like wow this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be and number two why did I let fear stop me so that's why I had to hop on and record this right away even though I look a hot mess because I feel like if I'm still struggling with this you know after all these years it's maybe it's never gonna go away honestly but I know now that it's all coming from my thoughts there were no facts there was no evidence to indicate that I wouldn't be able to do it again I did the same workout last week like completed it okay so where was the evidence that I wouldn't be able to do it nowhere it was a thought I had inside my head oh sorry I'm not so good at video I'm jumping all around here you like Mickey and Elmo in the background yeah those are my uh, those are my workout buddies anyway so I'm reading this book um, and I'm gonna be telling you guys more about it but I'm reading this book on mindful eating and she talks about your thoughts lead to your feelings which cause actions which lead to your results and I've heard other people talk about this and the life coach school that's like part of her coaching model and stuff but I'm reading all about it in this mindful eating book and the bottom line is your thoughts control everything so me thinking oh it's so hard I don't know if I'll be able to do it I'm tired I don't feel good I'm thinking all this crap led me to start feeling like I couldn't do it and start having self-doubt which led to the action of hitting snooze or getting up and getting on my computer instead of getting up and getting on the treadmill or doing nothing because I was scared and then the results were I've been feeling crappy about it all week because I've been feeling like a failure because I had a plan to do it and then kind of blew off the plan in the first three weeks or so that I was trying to do these workouts when I wrote it on my daily plan like that was it that was a rock solid commitment and I was doing it and this past week I was just kind of like eh, you know whatever and then that made me feel bad and I don't want to be the kind of person that breaks promises to myself or that doesn't hold up commitments sometimes things happen and you have to rearrange totally but when it's just me thinking crap that leads to me feeling bad, that leads to me not taking action, which gives me the result of feeling even worse. Gotta nip that in the bud. So I got on the treadmill today, blasted my motivational music, and just went for it. And I did it. And it wasn't as hard as it was last week. And, you know, I was running and just thinking, what was I so afraid of? Like, really, what are any of us so afraid of? Are we afraid of failure? Who cares? Failure is how we learn. When we do something wrong, we figure out, oh, it, that didn't work, so I'll try something else. I mean, if everything was perfect and easy, we would never learn and we would never grow. And I know this. I talk about it. I mean, logically, I know it, but those thoughts still creep in. So I guess my point is just we don't want to live in fear because it holds us back. So when you have those thoughts coming in telling yourself that you can't do it 
or that you might fail, you need to flip it around and say, actually, I can. Yeah, maybe I will stumble. Maybe I will completely fall on my face, but I'm going to get back up and try again. And I need to remind myself of that a lot too. So I thought if I needed the reminder, maybe you guys would need the reminder too. So sorry for the sweaty message, but this was just really weighing on my heart and I wanted to get it out and share it with you guys. So hope you're having a great Sunday. Um, don't forget the challenge starts tomorrow in the Not Really Hungry Facebook group. And um, I'm going to be posting stuff about it tonight. So if you're interested in the 21-day challenge, don't forget to come over and join the Facebook group. All right. Talk to you guys later.